Hey guys, it's Brett Burns with Prepared Man. We're out in the shop tonight. We're talking about the Balsang B6 uh, bi-directional shotgun mic. Uh, we've had it in our kit here for a while. You saw our unboxing, our initial thoughts. Not the best video in the world, but I thought we'd shoot some follow-up, just test of how I use this device in the field. I've got a lot of use out of this microphone in different shooting scenarios that I find myself in. So I thought we'd go down the road here, take a shot by the creek, just take a look at some different things, different shooting scenarios that I find myself in, that the Balsang B6 really shines, but also offers an opportunity or options that there's no other single microphone on the market that can meet those needs. Now, as you know, I use a lavalier mic a lot, especially in the shop or when I'm out in the field and I need that audio. I've used shotgun mics for years and micro shotgun mics for years as well. And I found the Balsang B6 to just be chiefly unique at the way that it meets the needs that I have. It's flexible in different shooting scenarios that I commonly find myself in in the field. And just really addressing a lot of those little tweaks in audio, those little pieces in audio that you need to get the most out of your footage. So let's go out in the field, let's look at some shooting scenarios, then we'll come back here to the shop and wrap things up. So this is the Balsang B6 filming in a difficult to film scenario. Uh, I'm filming just some nature shots, some B-roll, and uh, as you can see, everything seems to be going fine, but I am actually walking in dried leaves right now. And what I need from this microphone is I need to be able to pick up my audio in a blogging or vlogging type scenario without being overwhelmed by that front audio. So that's what we're trying to capture here. So as you can see, this is just a walk back. Filming with only a front facing microphone, I've actually turned off the rear mic and you hear the difference in audio walking the exact same path with the Balsam B6 just front facing microphone and the difference in the audio from my narration. So this is another typical blogging scenario where I have the front facing microphone turned off on the B6 but the rear facing microphone turned on. I also have active noise cancellation turned on, so during my narration or during my talks, during my blogging, you can hear all the details in what I'm saying, but you don't get all of that background noise and that disruption. Even when I return to where the dried leaves are, and continue to travel throughout. So this is a really good shooting scenario really common place that I find myself in that I find myself reaching for that lavalier mic because I don't want all that background noise but I want to capture my audio so this shot that I'm filming now I'm going to have a simultaneous piece where we switch from active noise cancellation where we're canceling out this surrounding audio of this trickling stream to our ASMR where we're actually listening for all those details of that trickling water. So this is probably what I find the most valuable about the B6 in my type of shooting and in my common shooting scenarios is now I have the front and rear microphone on being added to the mix simultaneously. I can walk through these dried leaves in a relatively noisy scenario without loss of information, without major disruption. I can still pick up that front facing audio, all that scenery and all of the different types of sound effects from the surrounding area but you can still hear my audio clear here's a shot now that I'm working on that we're capturing this water trickling across this rock bottom creek we're starting to get a little bit of rain my narration is clear but I can turn this rear mic off now my 
now my narration is significantly less clear. You're still picking up just a regular active noise cancellation of the creek. And there it all is. And now I want to turn it back to ASMR mode. Now, as you can see, that's a pretty big difference. So guys, there we all have it. I, I went right out and I just shot some common shooting scenarios where I find myself walking through the woods. I want to capture some audio. I want to capture some of my narration during a, a blogging or while we're traveling, we're looking at a different camp or a different scenario. And the Balsam B6 allows me to have that flexibility in the field. As I go in and out of different areas, as I walk through different areas that have audio uh, obstacles, so to speak, I found the Balsang B6 to be very flexible. I found it to be quick and easy to use. It's small and unobtrusive. It's a great addition to my kit, and I keep finding myself putting it in my pack time and time again. I'm Brett Burns with The Prepared Man, guys. Go outside, shoot some video, and do something.